Hey everybody, this is Tammy. You know my intro. This is Tammy at Tam Tam's Glam Slam Reviews. Owner, writer, and designer of DStraightBellyFat.com. Oh, but this is not a video about weight loss or anything like that. Okay, this is, like I said, day four of my cleanse. But what I wanted to share with you guys, I just thought it would be so different and so good to do, is share my dating life with you guys okay i'm not in a particular relationship right now this is nighttime I'm, I'm, I'm just chilling you guys so just chill with me this is what's going on with me so there's this dating site that i'm on and i usually like you know i have a profile and i check it every now and then to see what's going on and to see if i got any messages any winks anything like that Okay, I'm in a new state, a new city, a new town from where I was four months ago. This is so funny. I just got to share something with you guys. So I'm on this dating site. Oh, God. Oh, my God. And I'm not going to disclose the dating site that I'm on. And you get winks and you get people to look at your profile and things like that. And, um... It's been pretty interesting. Mm. So, I have six new messages. And I think it's time for me to reply. So, there's this one guy that I'm looking at on here. His name is, you know, like... Login names or whatever be really crazy, but you could tell a lot about a person from their um from their login name. Now this guy is Jar J A R E Jari seven seven seven. Then I have this other guy named Humble Man. Another guy named Ray Ray O nine five seven. Then we got this guy put his whole name on here so you know he's new to the dating scene he put in I ain't even gonna say his whole name because that, that'd be kind of rude because in a way I like him I talked to him on the phone once we talked on the phone once I hadn't heard from him since then so maybe the conversation was he didn't dig me at the time but it, I thought he could have been pretty cool you know it seemed like we kind of gelled in some of the conversations that he and I had but obviously, Mr. wasn't feeling the same. Ooh. Ooh, excuse me. I haven't seen any of these people yet. But I am going to hit somebody up. Okay, so this guy, he and I have been talking back and forth. We were talking about maybe we can meet at a Starbucks initially. But I hadn't talked to him in like two days. It's been about two days. So it looks as though he called or texted me on the service. And he says, hey, you, hope you had a good day. If you are up, holla. Gave me his number. Not sure about tomorrow. I had some medical stuff going on today. Why would you tell somebody that? What kind of medical stuff could he have going on? Now, one thing I don't want is a sickly ass man. Or somebody who got something wrong with him. Or maybe he got, could be HIV. I'm just joking. I don't know. But you don't tell people that kind of stuff when you're trying to meet them. I'm a little tired. If you don't talk, if we don't talk tonight, maybe we can at least talk tomorrow. So that's what he texted me. Then he did it a second time. He says, hey, I will be around most of the day. Give call me anytime. I'll be home watching some football this evening. So I'm going to give him a call. But before I do that, I want to see what humble man said. He just said, hi, sexy. Let me tell you, okay, I replied back to humble man. Back in, let me see. Okay, this message here, September the 30th, 
I talked to him. I put, I love a man that knows he who knows how to work with his hands. Ha ha ha. But seriously, there's something about a man with tools. What kind of carpentry do you specialize in? And what are some of your interests? Do you like music? Are you a homebody? Do you like travel? I like to travel and I like to do all sorts of things. Hiking, biking. I'm pretty active. I'm a pretty active person when my job allows me to be. Okay, so his response to that was I know every inch of this city, like the, like the back of my hand, I listen mostly to Christian music, but love a variety of music. What do I do for fun? He says what he does for fun. And this was so weird. Call 911 just to order a pizza, sneak into the zoo, free all the animals, free all the animals cage, the employees, and throw sunflower seeds at them. Stuff like that. I never replied to him after that. That's just weird. See, when you're talking to somebody for the first time, impressions, you need to like kind of be conscious of what you're saying and what you're, what you put now. Anyway, so let me call Jar seven seven seven. I'm going for it. I'm going to call him and see what he's talking about. It's like 8.30. Hello, this is Tammy. I was just calling, is it JAR777? Please give me a call back when you find some time. Thank you. So this sucker just let his answer machine answer. That's like his home, is that a home, that's a home phone number. That's not like an answering service. There aren't too many people with answering services anymore, but anyway. So I tried, so let's see. I'll wait a minute just to see if he, um, will text me. So I'm gonna text him. Hi, Jar777. This is Tammy, comma. I tried calling you to see if you were available to talk, period. Text me or give me a call back at your earliest convenience. Bye. I'll do a comma. See, I don't usually finger text, I, I talk it out. And then I do my correction. Dating 101. I don't know. I'm just bored. And I really want to go out and do something and, and meet some, some people, you know? Dating sites are the thing. It's like, it is not weird to go on a dating site these days. A lot of people think they are. Okay, so the other guy that gave me his whole name, I liked talking with him. He and I seem to have had a lot in common. But there were some things that he had mentioned that I think he's lying about. See, everybody, you got to really be careful of people because people won't tell you the whole truth about themselves. They'll, like, you know, tell you bits and pieces of what they want you to know. And then nine times out of ten, you have to be a detective and you have to figure that stuff out for yourself. That's why this whole dating thing is nothing but a damn game. It pisses me off, but... It's something to do sometimes too. Okay, so I've had, okay, actually I've been online dating for a few years now. So when I go from, I'm telling all my business. <laughs> when I go from 
town to town. When, you know, I, I did a lot of traveling with my, my, la my previous job. And in order to meet new people and to be shown around town, I find out what to do, what there is to do locally, I would meet somebody online. You know how you go online and then you just put in the zip code of where you are and then you find matches. So I've done that. So I have quite a few like dating stories. I'm not going to go there right now, but in the future I will go there with some dating stories. Um, but this last go around here, I just... I just moved to a new city in a new um, state and I don't really know many people other than at work but you gotta have a social life outside of work you know so I go to church I'm in a little um, uh, Bible study and that's great and I really enjoy it I love church I love it but I still need a social life now there was this certain person that I dated or are we still dating? No, we're not dating, dating. Not dating in what I categorize as dating. We still kind of, we kick it. Okay, let's just stop playing game. We, he and I kick it. He's a nice guy, a nice friend. I guess he's a nice friend. I don't really know him. He don't really know me. We're getting to know each other, but... I didn't meet him on a dating site. I met so, him. Anyway, say that to say this. I pursued that. I'm still pursuing it. But it's like, I'm from Detroit. And niggas are faster in Detroit than they are here. This nigga ain't getting what I'm putting down. He ain't picking up what I'm putting down. And I don't really have time for that. I can't be with no slow niggas. You know, just can't deal with that. Or else he think he's so slick, he just missing the point. I don't know. But anyway, so, I've gone online and I've met a couple people that I've been texting on the site that I'm on. But I haven't gone out with anybody yet. And I don't think I will be real soon. But what I am trying to do, I'm trying to find somebody that I think is going to be cool. Because I don't really want, like, a relationship. I want a friendship. Somebody I can kick it with. We can go to the movies. We can go out to eat. We can go ride around. Whatever. Or you can come. I feel When I feel comfortable with you, you can come to my crib and we can sit and talk and things like that. Um, that's not happening yet because I am not finding any good matches here in this town. Let me just say this. There aren't very many of us here black people here that are appealing to me on this site these people are a little different than what I'm used to actually I take that back they are a lot different than what I'm used to these men out here are weird people out here they into some different stuff and I just don't understand what the you know what the difference is I'm a man, you a man, I'm a woman. Let's do this. I'm looking for a man that want to be a man. A man that want to want a relationship, a friendship or something. These suckers are crazy. Or I just think it's in general. Men just don't know how to really be in a relationship with women. And what I have found is men have the most sensitive egos ever. They are just self-conscious of almost any and everything. So I do what I need to do as a woman to build their confidence up and give them the feeling as though I'm really interested and that I really like them. And that I'm willing to listen. But sometimes that scares them off. But everybody's afraid of rejection. I'm afraid of rejection. I'm not saying... I'm not... So super fine. I know I'm a nice looking woman and I don't have makeup on, but I don't think I would scare anybody to death. I'm wearing my natural hair, but when I wear my little hair pieces and wigs and things like that and put my makeup on and stuff, I clean up very well. And I think that I look decent when I'm not wearing makeup and when I'm not wearing hair. This is how I look. I don't think that I'm totally a dog or anything. I don't think I'm a dog. I think I'm a pretty decent looking woman for, you know, being natural. 
you have to at least be able to be natural every now and then so that when your man or somebody sees you without makeup, they're not in total shock. They don't say, man, you look sick or something. That used to happen to me all the time because I used to wear makeup all the time. There was a point in my life I would not walk out of the house without wearing makeup. And then when people would see me, they would say, you okay? You look sick. I'm like, I'm not sick. I just don't have no makeup on. So therefore, I start making a conscious decision to walk outside without makeup and let people see me in public without makeup or hair so that way they're not shocked when they don't see me with makeup because every damn day you don't feel like putting makeup on or you don't feel I just feel like being me the old natural me sometimes so I need you to get used to that so this will be continued. I'm going to wait until I get a response from my two um, in interests, my two dating interests on this dating site. And I'll get back with you guys later. See you in a minute. Bye.